Let's take a look at how Alloderm is made. The donated dermis undergoes proprietary life cell tissue processing, which consists of a multifaceted three-phase approach. The process actually starts when the donated human tissue that comes into this facility through a tissue receiving team. We perform comprehensive donor screening and testing on all tissue donors in accordance with FDA regulations, the AATB, American Association of Tissue Banks, standards, and applicable state requirements. We conduct a thorough review of donors' medical records, autopsy reports, lab results, and more to screen for risk factors for communicable diseases. Tissue Services works with recovery partners in different states all across the country, and the donor files are brought in to evaluate whether or not they're eligible for transplantation research or education. And then once we've reviewed the file, the medical director decides whether or not the tissue can be moved along, it goes into processing. According to the regulations of the FDA and the AATB, we have to make sure we have single pass donor processing, meaning we can't have one donor come in contact with any other tissues or solutions from another donor. We take extra steps to make sure that there's a separate toolkit for each donor and they are autoclaved between each step. This ensures that there is no cross-contamination of our products, so we have full traceability back through our process. From donor, out to the patient when it's implanted. The first step is to manually defat the tissue to prepare it for further processing. The dermis is then evaluated for defects, such as moles, which are carefully cut out in order to maximize the usable tissue. Different tissue thicknesses are then created. Alloderm is available in five different thicknesses. Next, the tissue undergoes a series of solution washes through agitation. This deepidermizes the tissue, removes all cellular components, and preserves the tissue to allow for its shelf life. These washes are non-denaturing to remove cells while preserving the integrity of the matrix. The tissue is now ready to be cut into its final shape using a specialized die cutting technique. Final visual inspection is performed on every piece to ensure that it meets our high quality standards. For instance, any remaining hair is manually removed at this stage. Once it passes visual inspection, the piece is carefully packed by hand into its internal pouch and measured to ensure proper uniform thickness. Labeling is then applied and the packaging is sent to be sterilized. Using E-beam radiation, the tissue is sterilized in a way that does not compromise the integrity of the matrix or its performance. This helps Alloderm achieve the right balance of sterility and performance. Once it is terminally sterilized, the tissue is then packed into its final carton. Before a packaged lot is released, there is a final quality control evaluation. A sample from each lot is examined histologically. We use H&E and immunohistochemistry staining to ensure successful removal of epidermis, intact basement membrane, successful removal of cells, and preserved structural integrity among other things. No tissue leaves the plant if it does not pass these criteria. So the final inspection and finished good teams are known as the gatekeepers, and we're called gatekeepers because we monitor and manage everything that goes out. So it doesn't go out to our customers or patients until it's met our requirements and met all the specifications. Once released from quality control, the lot is then loaded onto a truck and delivered to the hospitals and surgical centers where it is made available for surgeons and their patients. And then there's the tree of life. Each leaf on this tree represents 20,000 patients whose lives have been impacted by products that were distributed out of this facility. As of today, Alloderm has been implanted more than 2.5 million times. When I stand there and look at the donor quilt, my heart is happy that somebody's life has been improved, but at the same time, my heart is sad for those people who've passed on. But it's a beautiful thing that they've been able to donate. 
When I stop to think about why I work here, it's meeting donor families, it's understanding what happens to the product after it leaves our hands, and knowing that I have impacted someone's life that I will never ever meet. The patient means everything to me. They are the reason why I come in to do my job every day. I believe that the patients matter, and that's why I'm here.